Hi everyone, uh, my name is Verax, and I am here to bring you this video. It's me, playing this game here, Talisman Digital Edition. Now, Talisman was a board game that was released by Games Workshop of Warhammer fame in the 1980s. And it's a game that I had when I was much younger, and I enjoyed it quite a lot. Um, you can play it single player or with friends, and with me being the lonely sod that I am, I played it a lot of single player, and that's what I'm doing here with the Digital Edition. Um, I did honestly have plans for this as a multiplayer game and sadly it's not going to happen right now because as the game currently stands, it sucks a multiplayer. This is a turn-based game that is extremely simplistic and they messed it up. They messed the multiplayer up and so that won't be happening at least for a while, hopefully, the people I have involved with that will be able, you know, be able to do that once the developers decide to actually get multiplayer working. Because I think it would be like a big thing for a game like this to work in multiplayer. But apparently, laggy lag lag crashing lag crash freeze lag crash 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 lag freeze. Um, so I've decided to play it on my own and share it with you because despite that, it's quite a fun little game and, you know, uh, yes, nostalgia, 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 but, uh, even so, here I am playing it. So we're gonna start a new game. Hooray! Let me just, before I even go any further, see if you guys can see the mouse cursor, uh, in the recording, because that's quite critical. Okay, you can, that's good. It's always just a little bit disconcerting to have random buttons being pressed all over the screen without seeing the mouse. Um, so, yeah, there are four players within the game. There is not forced to be in the actual, uh, in the board game, but it's actually fixed that there are four. Um, you can play on, on local player or just have AI players, and of course you can have yourself. Um, you can pick a character if you so wish. The game comes with several characters. Uh, you can buy others as well as sort of standalone expansion packs, which is not something I particularly agree with, to be quite honest with you, especially the uh, price they're charging for them, about um, £1.80, £1.60 each for just a bunch of stats, basically. Or we can have a random character, and that's what I'm going to do. Each character has a number of statistics. They have strength which means, you know, how strong they are in combat. Craft, which is how good they are casting spells and psychic combat. Lives, which you need to stay alive. Fate, which is basically rerolls, and gold, which obviously is money that you can spend on items in the game. The aim of the game is to get to the center of the board, where the crown of command lies. And I've got it set up so that if we reach it, we win. Race to the Crown is that option. I can take that off and uh, we will play the usual sort of default ending, but the default ending kind of sucks because once you reach the Crown of Command with the default ending, then you have to cast the command spell over and over again and basically wait for everybody else to die. It's much better and much more finite to have the race on. And I'm having rune st um, random characters on. Runestones is things you can earn by just playing the game. You get experience within the game um, at, at the end of games, and you can level up and get runestones, which is basically extra, char extra cards for your characters. But uh, I'm not going to be doing that. And I, I don't really know what these are. I just not know. So, here we are. We're going to start the game. Let's just start the game. So, here we are. And it turns out that I am... In this occasion, a druid, which is one of my favorite characters, to be honest. So, here we have my character, the druid. We begin the game with one spell, which is very nice. Spells come out should be quite powerful in this game. I may change my alignment at will. There's two, uh, three alignments in the game. Good, neutral, and evil. And um, I can just switch from one to the other whenever I like. And that's actually quite useful because there are certain weapons in the game, like it's saying there, that only affects certain, only can be used by certain alignments. And uh, also there are certain like monsters that will attack you if you're good or evil and grant you boons if you're good or evil. So we will get all of those, um, all the benefits from all that because of that. And also when we can land in woods, we can game a full complement of spells according to my current craft. The more craft you have, the more spells you can have. I think currently because I have craft four, I craft four, I think I can have three spells or is it two spells, I'm not sure. But uh, our aim is basically to wander around this outer area 
to level up basically and get more uh, get better at, at what we're doing basically increasing your strength and your craft and then we will move into the inner bit and then the super inner bit and here is what we're after I can't click on it because the game hasn't actually started yet, it's waiting for me to draw a spell. But this is the Crown of Command. Now you may be wondering why this game is called Talisman, and that is because to get to Crown of Command, you have to go through the Plane of Peril, which is here. And uh, to get through the Plane of Peril, you need a Talisman. And you get a Talisman a number of different ways. Uh, you can find them randomly in the game. You can complete a quest for the Warlock who lives here. Um, and just random other things. You can also steal them off other characters when they get them. So, it's quite fun, you know. You're all out for each other, by the way. There are no teams in this. So, so despite there being, like, two good characters here, the monk and the priest, uh, and the elf, these are all good characters. They're all against each other. It only just affects things on the board. Let's draw a spell. We have immobility at the start of the character's turn. Um, before they move, uh, if cast, the character whose turn it is, uh, they are mobile. So, basically, I can stop somebody from moving, which is quite nice. And I might actually cast that straight away. To be honest, I'm going to see if I can queue that up. I'm just going to queue that up right now. So other oh, characters are casting their spells. So, uh, well, selecting them. So the priest is now getting his spell. Um, so yeah, we got a monk, a priest, and an elf with us. I hate elves, by the way. Um, so I'm going to select a player to cast that on. I'm going to cast it on... Why would I cast it on myself? Apparently that's what I'm doing. I'm immobilizing myself. I thought it's what? I thought I would do it on the monk. All right then, fine. I've just skipped my first turn because I'm an idiot. Go me. Um, priest is also casting a spell. He's casting it on the elf. What's he casting? He's casting random. So he's going to roll a dice, and a random effect will happen according to this. Uh, the elf will be able to affect this roll by using his fate, if he so wishes. Uh, five. He's going to gain one strength. I don't think he's going to re-roll that one, because that's pretty good. So you actually helped the elf. You see, it's turned from three to four there. So he's better at fighting now. Ah, brilliant. Okay, so... Oh, hello! Hello. Right, okay, so the monk is attacking me. He can add his craft to his strength, meaning that he gets a total score of ten, because you add your strength to your dice roll. Uh, yeah, I don't have a lot of... What a great start for me. Yeah, I rolled a 1. Brilliant. So now what you can do is... I can re-roll that if I want, but, you know, I'm only going to get 8 total, you know, maximum anyway. So I'm just going to continue. And, uh, let's continue. And he's going to steal my gold. He can either steal an item of mine, a follower, because you can get companions. Um, or you can take their life away. So thank you, monk. Thank you for that. If we look to... Take a quick look at the monk, we can see that your inner belief allows you to add your starting craft to your strength three in battle. So his craft is three, his strength is two, so that's why he, you know, he could roll he added three to the roll there. He also, when praying, he has one to the score, which you know you do at the chapel. But you may not use any weapon or armor during battle. So basically this guy has three strength, plus three strength initially, uh, and that's it. But you have a whole lot of fate. Five fate points, which is quite a lot. The priest, let's just take a look at you. Uh, the priest to begin the game with one spell, as he did. After rolling the dice when praying, you may add one to the score, so same as uh, the monk, which makes sense. You may choose to automatically destroy any spirit without resorting to psychic combat. When you destroy a spirit in this manner, you may not keep the enemy as a trophy, but may gain one spell. So that's quite nice, because there is a demon in this with craft 10, which you can draw right at the beginning of the game. So if he gets that, he can just swap that for his spell. The trophy thing is that for every seven points of monsters worth of um, strength or craft you kill with monsters so for example you might ki kill a, a bear with strength three and like a goblin with strength four for example that's seven strength you can turn those into one strength point for yourself they're trophies all right what are you gonna do mr priest he's gonna move here and visit the mystic he's gone to the village and he was ignored I can actually change your alignment, the mystic. And here we have the elf. Let's take a look at the elf. I should have turned steam off. And the elf, uh, you do not need to roll a dice in the f uh, die in the forest unless you wish to. Um, you can get lost in the forest, possibly. Or you can meet a nice person who helps you. Uh, you may evade creatures in the woods. If you're in the woods, instead of rolling a dice, you may move to any other wood of the same region. So, he's 
not really got that many special abilities, but he starts with three strength and four craft and three fate. So he has quite good starting stats, but these don't really do a whole lot, to be quite honest. Anyway, what's the elf doing? He's moving five squares. He's going to go and visit the woods, strangely enough. And he's got a bag of gold there. So draw a card and... Right, can I go now? <laughs> Since I just... Oh yeah, that's totally right. I just, I just skipped my first turn. Give you guys a chance. Give you guys a chance. That's what I did. Um, so yeah, from there he can now move to here or here. Um, we are in the forest here. So let's roll dice. We got two. So what we can do is we can possibly visit the village uh, and go and see the mystic. We don't have any... Oh, I do have some gold. I got one gold. Where did that come from? I thought it was stolen from me. Anyway, so I can go visit the mystic and possibly gain a spell. Hang on a minute. I'm just going to uh, get rid of all that rubbish. There, uh, professionalism. So you could possibly gain a spell or craft there, but I can gain spells in forests anyway. Or I could go here. Oh, I didn't actually mean to do that, but I've done it anyway and I was going to do it anyway. Um... Ruins draw two cards. So I'm going to draw an adventure card, and that is a bag of gold, so we'll have that. And Oh, two bags of gold? That was bloody lucky, wasn't it? I'm having both of them. So now I can go and visit the village and buy myself some armor. I'm going to be a druid decked out in plate mail armor with a shield and a sword and an axe. And yeah, it's going to be pretty awesome. Only thing is you have to roll the uh, dice to get there. So he then got the rune blade. Which, as you can see, is quite good. Plus one to your strength. Um, when you defeat, when you use the rune sword in battle, to defeat an enemy or another character, you can then uh, you can cause them to lose a life. You gain one life when when you know you t it basically gives you life and takes one away. But no good character can have the rune sword, so that's going to stay there for the entire game because all these guys are good, unless I pick it up or one of them changes their alignment. It's the priest go, and he's going up there. And he's going to roll 6-0 at the tavern. So, a boatman offers to ferry you across the sea. So he can now get there if he wants to. And the elf is moving uh, across the woods. He sees a shadow. A shadow? Hmm. He beats the shadow, so he gets to take that um, as a trophy now. Take a look at the cards here. and We can see that now the elf has another card, a trophy of the shadow. The five points worth in craft, and he can get a level up now. So I could go here, which is actually quite nice, because I can go there and I can get a shield, or I can get an axe. Now axes are quite nice, because they add plus one to your strength, but also if you move into woods, you can build a raft to go over here. Um, a shield also be nice when you roll, when you use that, if you uh, lose a life on a roll of a five or six, you don't lose a life, but I'm, I kind of want the armor, because that's a four, five, or a six. Um, I might just go to the healer and heal that one life I lost. Oh, that's right. I thought he robbed me, but no, the priest actually... No, it was the monk. One. The, mon the monk actually just took a life off me, the bastard. So, hmm, or I could go here. When you do that, you can either choose to encounter the character or the square itself. And when I go to the woods, actually, I get to regain my spells. So I'm going to go there. So I've got healing, which I should be quite nice. Um, I've also got Counterspell, which negates a spell cast at me. And yeah, I only have the two. Because my strength and my craft is four. Um, so I can encounter the space or the character. The, the elf is quite good. We both have the same sort of craft. And he doesn't have anything worth taking yet. So I'm just going to encounter the space and draw an adventure card. Which could be anything. It's a doppelganger. The doppelganger always has the same total strength as its opponent, including any bonuses. If you kill it, gain one strength, but you must discard it instead of taking it as a trophy. It will remain here until it is killed. So let's encounter that, and hopefully we'll be able to kill it. That's a good roll for us. Alright, let's see if it can match us. It does. Well, I'm not going to re-roll that, because chances are I will end up losing that combat, so the doppelganger can stay there and somebody else can have that bloody... St I thought I would have that then, increase my strength, but no. So he's visiting the mystic again, and he gains one craft. Very nice. He won't be able to add that extra point of craft onto his strength because it's not his starting craft. The priest is moving into the inner region where 
He's going to the temple. He has rolled a four. Lose one follower. He hasn't got a follower, so he might just keep that, but the temple's generally quite nice. You know, you're getting a lot of stuff there. Gain a talisman, number ten. Is he going to re-roll that? I'll keep that. He's going to re-roll it to a seven. Gain one. Gain one craft. So he's getting to craft as well. So I'm falling behind here. Might as well stay in zoomed-in mode. Uh, you, you're not going to pick that up, are you? So that was kind of a pointless turn, wasn't it? Okay, me! I'll have to zoom out now so I can see where I can go. So I can go to the forest, um, which is a thing that the elf gets to avoid. So I can be attacked by a brigand. I can lose my next turn. I can be safe. All the rager guides you out. But that's ranger, not rager. Plus one craft. But I'm going to go over here. I'm going to travel over there. And... Uh, Oh, hello! Okay, so it's Mephistopheles, I believe. You have encountered Mephistopheles on a, uh, on a mission to this land. If you are evil, gain one craft. If you are good or neutral, he converts you to evil. If you remain... Alright, well, hang on. I wouldn't mind being evil right now. I'm, I'm an evil... I am evil, by the way, so now I will encounter this guy and he will give me one craft. That is the strength of the druid. Yes, I am now evil. I am the evil druid of druiddom, of the evil kind. A shadow druid, nonetheless. Okay, so, the monk's gonna batter that bloody hobgoblin. For shame, hobgoblin. And now we get to take that hobgoblin as a trophy. Congratulations, you. The priest is now in the inner circle, which is more dangerous than the outer one. Lots of nasty things here. Hidden Valley, draw three cards. Okay, got two gold, a helmet, and a devil! Oh my goodness, okay. So I think he's lost a life there. Yeah, because he's good, and the devil doesn't like good people. And But he got a, he got a helmet and two gold, so that's quite nice. The elf is now popping from wood to wood. He's not going to encounter me, though, and he's got a portion of strength. Don't like this elf. He's, he's you know, we're sort of vying for control of the woods here. So I can't get the elf now because I have to move away. I'm going to roll a one and uh, it doesn't matter where you go because you know you either go to plains, draw one card, or fields, draw one card, same thing. So uh, let's just start heading in this direction. Might pick up that rune blade if I can. I, I, <laughs> I don't want to fight the giant! I want to go home! <laughs> Alright, there's not a lot I can do about that. Let's uh, fight the bloody giant. Alright then. So, I need a six, he needs a one. Uh, no! Oh. I'm not gonna reroll that. You can get your fate back by praying down here, and I can- there's, there's a chapel and a grave there that you can pray at. Um, and I can play at both of them. Because I am both good and evil at the same time. Now I can... cue healing. But it's very unlikely that you're going to lose two lives in a turn. Uh, unless you're in the inner region or something. So I'm going to, I'm not going to cast that just yet. I'm not too worried about my lives because, you know, I have the healing spell. So. The monkey's moving there and he gets to draw two cards. A poltergeist, which is horrible, and a cross, which actually quite fits quite well. So. Let's have a look at that. The, uh, the poltergeist... Only lets him move one space per turn. Only rid yourself by crossing the river, either by bridge, raft, or ferry. You must then discard it. So he's got to cross the river. He can only move one space per turn. That's a horrible thing to get. He also has the cross, though. Um, if you are evil, you do, yeah, you do not lose a life in the chapel. If you are good, you do not lose a life in the graveyard. Because, yeah, they're the alternate praying places. You may choose to automatically re destroy all spirits without resorting to psychic combat. Spirits destroyed in this way cannot be kept as trophies. So it's similar to the priestess that you can't convert it to a spell. Okay. Well, the, the monk has a cross. Fancy that. The priest is living dangerously out here in the outlands. I'll call him that. He's gone to the woods. And he's got a bag of gold! What the hell's all over this gold, man? There's only a finite amount of gold in this game. It's all being picked up straight away. And the elf's just hopping from... That's a pointless move as well, elf. Stop. Get out of the goddamn forest. You'll never win. Okay. So, four. Hmm. So I can go to the hills. Or I can go... I can run to the hills. 
Run for my life, or I can run to the, the fields. But I'm going to go over here. Because I'm looking at that. Uh, and join a bench card. A ring! Plus one to your strength and one to your craft. That's nice. I will take that. That's pretty sweet, actually. End turn. So, you can only move one space per turn. And you got the Holy Grail! <laughs> Plus one to your craft. So this monk, right? This monk has just picked up a cross and the Holy Grail. <laughs> Who the hell is he? Um, okay, priest. You're sort of like, you know, the monk's sort of making you look a little bit... Showing you up a bit, I would say. So he's rolled a six. Uh, so he's going to move there. And a shrine, which is one of the best cards in the game. Grants beneficial effects. And that will stay there for us the game now. Now where are you going? Are you going to roll? Or are you just going to hop from bloody... The elves are so annoying. I hate elves. Just in general, elves are just so annoying. And they're in this as well. He's, he's drinking his portion of strength anyway, so he gets a bit of a bonus. A plus two modifier. And he's rolled a one, lols. Go on, bandit. I don't care if I lose this game, by the way. I just don't want the elf to win. Oh, no. Okay, the elf wins. Okay. Five. Oh, well. Now, I could, as you can see, try and move into the inner region here. But to do that, I have to fight the Sentinel. The Sentinel has a strength of nine. And then I can get across this bridge and get into the inner sanctum bit. But I only have a strength of three, so I can't beat him yet. And I don't... Do I want to go and... Uh, hmm. No. He, well, I could... No. Because I can't choose to... <laughs> Sorry, I was thinking quite a lot there to myself. The elf has a lower craft than me, but that doesn't actually matter because I'm not the wizard. The wizard, who isn't in this game, can choose to fight with craft rather than strength. Otherwise, it's basically just strength. Um, so I'm just going to leave the elf and go here. I do have three gold, so I could visit the blacksmith and get an axe. Um... But I want that other sword there. So, and I could visit the healer, but I have a spell for that. So let's just go and visit the mystic. See what you're going to do for me. It's a, Oh, nice! Again, a craft. That's probably the best thing I could have hoped for. Craft 7. Now, when you get either your strength or your craft up to about double figures-ish, I can try and go for here, which is the portal of power. And pretty much there, I... Uh, that's the only way to get into here, and you choose which ability you want to, you, um, to use. Roll two dice. If the total is equal or less, you can move into the Plane of Peril, which obviously is where you get the Crown of Command and everything. I don't have a Talisman yet, though, so I can't really start thinking about that. Plus, it's only seven. So, I'm about half... well, not halfway there, but you know. I'm looking good on craft, basically. I can use my craft to get in there. You just found a sword and a shield, but you can't use either of them. You can't use either of them. You're just taking them to be a git. But look. May not use any weapons or armor during battle. What you can do though, I know why he's taking them, is... So there, he can't use these. <laughs> look at all this stuff. You can only have four objects, by the way. Only four objects. So uh, he's laid out there. But you can turn them into gold at an alchemist. So that's probably what he's going to try and do. He's going to convert them into gold. At uh, the city over here, probably. But anyway... So the priest go is going to move back out here. No, he's liking it in there. He's gone to the woods. Raiders. Oh, raiders stole all his gold. That was very brief. Stop being annoying. Stop darting from... Oh, my God. Yes, you can't use... You're just wasting all your turns, you bloody idiots. Just because you can do that all the time doesn't mean you should. So now I can go possibly to the chapel. Um... And I'll be good, obviously, so I can heal my life value for free and save myself casting the spell. Or I can pray and possibly gain life and or a spell. Or I could go up here to the tavern, roll dice, and either get drunk, fight a farmer, gamble and lose, gamble and win, teleport to any other space, or go to the boatman. I'm going to move up to the tavern. Because I don't really want to get any extra lives, because I've, I've got this. Which is fine. And I do actually want rid of this, to be quite honest with you. So that I get some better spells later on. I need to actually move into some woods because I'll be able to have at least two, if not um, one, if not two more extra spells. I rolled a two, so I get into a fight with a farmer, which is okay, I suppose. Because I do have a vague chance of winning this. and Except I don't think I'll take him as a uh, as a trophy because he's, a, he's a, not actually a card, is he? 
he's not a... Nope, that didn't count for anything. What a shame. But I've won my first combat anyway, so I'm happy with that. Pretty happy with that. A mule lets you carry eight items, which is... which is it, The monk's doing brilliantly! What the hell? Hang on. Did you... Yeah, it's a follower, yeah. So now he can carry eight items. <laughs> um, wow, okay. So the monk's doing really, really well in terms of items and such. Oh, you're going back to the temple. It's kind of... Uh, oh, four again. Lose one follower. He's re-rolling again. He's got another craft. He's got another craft. And the, the, the bloody elf. Go on, then. Yeah, go back over there. A cave. Oh, that's going to stay there forever now. He's rolled a five, which has gained two gold. You can also find a goblin, a, a goblin and a dragon in the cave. Six. Oh, I could actually go over here to the city and visit the Enchantress, get turned into a 50-50 chance on something good or bad happening here, but I do have a f plenty of fate that I haven't used. Equally, there's, there's the Alchemist and the Doctor. Two lives for each one gold, so Doctor's much better than any other healer that you have to pay for. Um, but I don't have any objects to turn into gold, do I? Oh, I keep pressing on the wrong thing there, it's the cards. I have that, but that's quite nice. Plus one strength and plus one craft, so I don't want to turn that into a piece of gold. So, oh god, I've moved there. Whoops. Well, I guess what? We're going to go to the Enchantress. That's where we're going to go. And we're going to have a go at this. Four. I blind light. Yes. Yes. My craft is now eight, which is very nice. See, all this stuff that, that, that the monk has. Um, I mean, okay, he's got the poltergeist, but all that nice stuff isn't going to count for anything if he doesn't get into the middle of the board and uh, start, well, and, and increase his stats. A witch! Now the witch is actually quite nice as well, but he's got to fight the spectre first in order to see the witch. Because you have to kill any monsters before you see any other, you know, NPCs, if you like. Or take any items, and yet he's done that. So now the witch grants him a craft! Now I have a rival, everybody! And the bloody elf! Go on and move here! I need to get rid of that bloody elf. Because he's just been really annoying. Because now he's going to go backwards and forwards and backwards and forwards. And he's going to amass loads of gold. But he'll never spend it because he's just going backwards and forwards. Because the AI is bugged. What a waste. Um, yeah, let's go this way again. Um, you know what? I've got into a... Uh, into a wood, by the way. A mercenary. If you want the mercenary, pay him one gold. If not, he waits here. While well, your folly will add three to your strength in battle until the end of the turn, provided you pay one gold. You may only pay one gold per turn. So that means for every turn you have him, you've got to pay a gold? That's rubbish. I do not want him. Leave the follower here. And it's quite a big increase in strength, but it's very expensive. I've only have him for three turns and he'd bugger off. I think that's what that means. Anyway, I've never taken him for the chance that might be what it is. A storm sweeps through the region, so all of us except the priest miss a turn. It means you get to move twice. He's moved to the castle. He's paid the royal doctor. You miss a turn. So he's paid the royal doctor and got his... Lives up to four again. We all miss a turn. The priest gets to go again. He's moved to the Hidden Valley. Three cards. A gold again! A marsh. Oh, and a two bags of coal. What the hell? Okay, but the marsh is quite nasty because now he will miss a turn. Because as it says on the card, uh, if your strength is less than five, you will miss one turn. And his strength is only two. So he's going to be stuck there. And we all get extra turns now. Well... You see what I mean? We don't get extra turns, but he... yeah. He's moving... what? He's... what? Okay, my god, he's actually moving, and he's found a Lemur. Which he'll easily defeat, I would have thought. Yep. Okay. My go. Can I move to a wood? I can't. I can get here, though. I'm sort of putting around this area, because getting on that square is quite nice, because I get a weapon, um, as long as I don't change my alignment, and I get my more spells. And I'm going to queue this up, to be quite honest with you, because uh, I'm going to cast it now, on myself. Yeah, okay. 
The reason I did that is because when and if I get onto the uh, wood, I get more spells. While it is quite a nice spell, there's nice spells than that. So, yeah, there we go. It's an ogre. Oh, God. Changing my alignment will do nothing for that. Yeah, so I need to really work on my strength. I should have bought an axe or something, because unless you roll a one, sir. Ow. Oh, man. All right, then. Just continue. I need, I need to get that sword. Yeah, I lost a life. Thank you. Visiting the mystic? He is ignored. Poor monk being ignored. Oh, the elf misses term. Uh, sorry, the, the priest misses term because he's stuck in a marsh. The elf's going here. He's encountering the blacksmith. He's going to spend some of that. He's going to get an axe so he can build a build a raft. Okay. Oh, okay. I'll just move. I'll move here. I don't have to fight the sentinel if I'm not going through its its legs. <laughs> a prince. Okay. Um, when I visit the castle, which is here, I can get two lives healed for free, or I can change him for three gold. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to take him. I get a follower. Hooray. Hooray. Okay. Sorry, 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 game. Sorry. An instructor. You can pay him three gold to increase either your craft or strength, I believe. Bit expensive. Priest moving around. He's going to go rare again to the woods. A lion. He's met a lion in the woods. And he's, oh, his strength isn't that good. Wandering around in there. Oh, jammy git. You jammy git. Hmm. Oh, you going to see me? You, oh, you are. Hello. All right, yeah, you're much stronger than me, aren't you? So you're going to come and bully me. I can't beat that at all. So well done. You're going to take my ring, aren't you? Go on, then. Oh, it's a standoff. Oh, pff, my math sucks. <laughs> one. I want a one. Oh. All right, I don't want to go and see the ogre. Who's this? Uh, there's the mercenary. Well, I'd rather go and see the mercenary than the ogre. So, uh, yep. I want to leave you. Wow. Although he's a follower. Um, no, no, sorry. No. I thought you pay you pay him. You might pay him per um, per combat. Like, do you want to pay him to help you? And plus, plus, I, if it works like that, he might be worth it for when you come up against dragons and elves and stuff. Oh. Okay, this is interesting. He's going to the Warlock's Cave. Um, so, you may roll a dice to accept a quest, um, which is all these. And if you, you know, complete the quest, you get a talisman. Let's see what he rolled. He rolled a one. Take a life from another character. So that now that's his quest. And if he does that, he will gain a talisman once he returns back there. The elf, meanwhile, picks up a water bottle. Bottle. So he doesn't lose a life in the desert, which is here. Hello, me. Six. Yeah, so I could... I'm really keen on me visiting the ogre. I don't really want to. I'm going to go up there to the fields. Uh, a bandit. Oh, good golly gosh. Okay, I'm only one down in terms... Of, oh, my God. All right, I might reroll that to be quite... Oh, there's no point. All right, I lost another life. Because of my lack of strength. My lack of strength is really telling, I know. I should have kept my healing spell. <laughs> oh, a battle. The elf versus the monk. And it's pretty, it's even. So, monk, you going to re-roll that? He is. Oh, elf, you going to re-roll that? No. The, el the elf admits defeat and the monk takes a life off the elf. Does he? Yes, he does. Okay, so the priest's probably going to be gunning for one of us now because he has to kill one of us. Well, makes us lose life. He's going back to the temple. He's rolled a six, so he could gain one strength. And he's done that. Well done, you. Ah, the elf. 
He's moving to the instructor. And ignoring him, as you would. Alright, all good. I can actually move here, which I may well do, because I want to visit the healer here. Uh, doctor, I need a doctor! Um, one gold for two lives. Or did I misread that? Anyway, I've got an extra life anyway, so you know, I don't want to complain about that. But I'm pretty sure it says... Two lives at the cost of one gold each. Oh, up to two. It's not one life per... It's not two lives for one gold. It's you can heal up to two lives there. Okay. That would cost you two gold. He's now in the ruins. He's got a gnome and a wand. The jammy git. The wand always uh, lets you have one spell on you at all all times. So hang on a minute. So this guy. This bloody monk. Despite the... Where's the poltergeist? He's got rid of the portal guys. So I think. Oh, he's visited the mystic. I think, and you can also do it that way. Um, look at this. He's got. He's got the holy grail. He's got a cross. He's got these two that he can't really use, but he's got them anyway. No one else can have them. And he's got a wand. So equipment-wise, he's doing very well. But stats-wise, not so hot. And you're not going to win the game if you don't have better stats. No, he doesn't want to go and visit them too. So he's visiting. Visiting the oasis, he's got a book of spells, and he's visiting the stranger again. So now he's going to pick more spells, which we can't see. And he's visiting the witch, who gives him an extra bloody point in craft. Stupid priest. Alright, and the elf. Misses a turn for some reason. Oh no, wait, what's he doing? Oh, the priest is targeting a player? Okay, what's going on? Oh, the priest has cast immobility on the elf. Well, it's better than casting it on himself, you know. That works. Okay. My go! Uh, you see the board's filling up now. There's lots of things on here. So I can visit the doppelganger again. And that may well give me an extra point in strength if I use a reroll. Equally, I could visit the crags and get an extra point in strength if I roll a six. Better chance here, I think. Besides, I don't like another... Oh, and I can draw my spells as well. So I get random, I get teleport and go anywhere, which is actually really nice. It's kind of be casting the inner region, so you can't just cheat and go straight to the counter command. Um, so I could cast... No, I'm alright casting stuff for now. I will cast random probably on the... Uh, let's see. Well, I, I, let's do this first. <laughs> okay. Bad start. Roll a one, roll a one, roll... Oh. There's no point re-rolling that, is there? Not really. Ah, brilliant. Alright, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Um, there's no lose all of your... Um, <laughs> lose all of your um, uh, equipment, which is quite nice. But I am going to cue that and cast it on the monk. Whenever I... Oh, I'll do it now. Okay, sweet. Let's see if I can get, you know... Even though the priest would might have been a better idea, I'm not sure. The monk's kind of bugging me, that's all. <laughs> At least the priest is earning it by being in the, uh, you know, the middle region. That's what it is, the middle region. Three. Uh, lose all craft. Oh, nice. Okay, so... Um, well, he's still got four, probably because through a bonus to, you know, with an item. The Holy Grail, I think. But, yeah, he's lost the ones that he earned. So, I should now end the turn. So that was all right. I've only got two lives left, though. i got to watch that. If I die... Oh, the monk's now getting revenge. <laughs> what are you casting on me? Oh, he's stealing something off me because he's got a spell that lets him do that. My ring! Oh, no. Worst golem impression ever. I can do golem, but only when I've, you know... I've lubricated my... Hang on a minute! Wait, 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 I got that! I got a counter spell! I got a counter spell. I can, I can, I can do that. Nice! Okay, I keep my ring. My precious. Mm. Wow. Oof. Ha! Screw you. Um, nice. Oh, hello. <laughs> He's really got something against me, hasn't he? <laughs> now he's just going to batter me with his bloody staff. Uh, he's only got seven. Hmm. He's only got seven. And it's personal. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! I am gonna have your wand, maybe? 
Your sword, your shield, your... I can steal a gold. You have one spell if your cast allows. Across... Um... No. Shield's quite nice. Sword. I might fancy the wand. I'm gonna have the wand. I always have a spell then. No matter what. You know what? I'm gonna cast this as well. I'm gonna queue that up so that I can move... Wherever I want next turn, I'm going to move there and pick up that sword. So, screw you, monk! Oh! Temporal warp on the priest. So the priest can make three uh, three moves at once. Pretty nice. What are you doing? Okay, the okay he's targeting someone with a gnome. What's going on? Oh, the priest is stealing the gnome! The priest is stealing the gnome! That's kind of nasty, but fair enough. Yeah, so the monk's suddenly getting all his stuff pilfered away by the other players, much to my personal delight. Um, and he's gonna... he doesn't want to move into the desert because he'll lose a life automatically. Because there's the oasis, desert, desert. So he's moved to the castle um, for that turn. And now this turn, he's gonna roll a six. He hasn't come out of the uh, middle region so far. Now he has! Now he has! Uh, he's found an alchemist to convert any of your objects to gold. That's a follower, so he can do that anytime he wants. And now he's going to move one to the chapel, strangely enough. And is he going to pray? He's going to... Oh, he's ignored. Oh, what? The priest gets ignored at the chapel? What's that all about? The elf... I think he's doing the worst, actually, the elf. He's got a... Oh, the healer has made his home there, and he will heal. Let's have a look at that. Two lives per visit on any character landing here, free of charge. That's actually quite handy. Um, considering my current um, state of affairs. So I could actually do that. Although I'm going to risk it, to be quite honest with you. But if I die, as I was going to say, I'll just end the game. You do get another character once you die. But uh, I think that we'll just play out with this character and see what happens. So do I go for the healer and get my health back? Or do I go and get that sword? And my spells. Well, I'll tell you what, if I go here, I might get the healing spell back. Oh, and I'm gonna... Oh, there we go, I, I got a healing spell anyway, because I'm sat in the woods. Um, and I, I have... No, it was because of the wand, I think. Anyway, go there! Yes. So that's quite handy. And draw a spell there as well. Destruction. I can remove any, um, thing from the board that I want, any spell. And alchemy. I can convert any number of objects I want to gold. And I get that as well. I'm having that. Rune sword. Sweet. So now I get a bit of bonus to my to my strength. Um because I am evil. Okay, so in turn. And once I start killing stuff with that rune sword, I'll get my health back. The monkey's having a bit of a think. What would I want to destroy with this uh, destruction thing? Oh he's he's destroying the gopple the doppelganger. No, that's my you know. I wanted to kill that. God damn it. And then he's going to move there and visit that bandit. Okay. Not the best of rolls. No, not the best of rolls at all, Mr. Monk. Ha, ah, you lose. Yeah, the monk's having a bad time of it now. He was doing quite well and then suddenly, no, nah, not so good. The priest. Remember, he's out to kill one of us. Or at least, you know, make us lose life, so... He's going to visit the blacksmith, and he's going to buy himself some armor. No, an axe. Buy himself an axe. The priest visits the blacksmith and buys an axe. I wouldn't mind two more gold so I can go and buy some armor. That's quite nice. Instructor gets ignored. So, alright, I'm going to leave healing for now. I don't have anything I want to turn into um, alchemy, do I? I keep clicking the wrong thing there. i got to click on here. Um, I turn any one of them to gold, but no, I, you know, it's a nice thing, you know. Plus one to your strength during battle, and absorb health. That's only if I remain evil, though. Don't forget that. Um, or neutral, you know. I could, I could just turn neutral and, and keep it. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna just run my dice then. And probably, oh, the crags or the forest. That's not so brilliant, to be honest with you. Uh, you know, I'm going to move to the crags, because if I roll a six, I'll get plus one strength. 
Ah, uh, I'm gonna take that. I'm safe. Crags in the forest are sort of like a bit annoying. People tend to avoid them. Hello. You have another go? Oh, well, this is a little bit closer though now, isn't it? A little bit closer. Hmm. It's not so brilliant. Uh, you know what? I do want to reroll that. Ah. Oh, damn it. You're going to take the wand off me again, aren't you, or something? Yep, you have the wand back. <laughs> <laughs> Fine, have your stupid spell, you stupid monk. Oh, I could have hit in there and, you know, got a life of him or something. The priest is sad. I'm kind of scared of the priest, to be honest with you. Lemur. Okay, he wins automatically. <laughs> yeah. And the elf. Oh, two. In oh, market day and an angel. Okay, so... He's going to buy stuff, and I can buy stuff as well. I have two gold. I could buy a mule. I could buy... I can't buy a raft. I could buy a water bottle, or a helmet, or a shield. You know what? A shield may not be a bad idea. I'm going to buy the shield. Okay. And I'm done. So now, yeah, now the monk tries to, you know, mark it day so everyone can buy stuff. And the angel helped him because he was... Good. Okay. I think he got a craft or something now. I'm not sure. Maybe gained a life. I think he gained a life. He has five lives now. So what's on this square? That's just... Uh, oh, it's a bandit, which is... Hmm. Or I can visit... I like visiting the woods. Although I won't get any bonuses for that unless I use the destruction spell. What do I want to use that on, though? Can I not just click around the board and see what's where? Um, I might just... just you know what? Nah, no, I'm just using it for the sake of it, I. Alright, I'm going to move... I'm going to have a go at the bandit. I'm going to have a pop at the bandit. That's what I'm going to do. Alright. So I've got my shield now as well, so... And we're equal. Oh, God. Right, I'm going to re-roll that. I'm going to re-roll it. What? What the... Alright, use your shield. Five or six? No. Was I three ones in a row? God... Damn it! All right, hang on a minute. I gotta, I gotta, yeah, I know. I gotta use healing. I'm gonna use healing. Is that healing? I'm gonna cue healing for next time on me. I don't want to heal the bloody monk. Okay, I'll cast it now. Ah, uh, what was that about? Right, fine, fine. Hello. Go away! God's sakes, leave me alone! What are you do? just constantly harassing me? What do you want now? Um, not gonna reroll that. It's pointless. It's not pointless, you know, I could get a six, but... Go on then, take me ring. Go on. Yeah. I'm not happy about this monk at all. He's a git. I wanna kill him. Where's the kill spell? There is not a kill spell. That's the command spell, basically, but it takes way too long. We're not gonna see it. Unless I can click there. Yeah, there you go. There's the Chrono Command spell. So, Chrono Command spell, once you get there, you roll a dice on your turn. On a 1, 2, or 3, nothing happens. On a 4, 5, or 6, all characters lose life. So that's it. That's what you do when you get there. You keep rolling a dice every single turn. On a 4, 5, or 6, everybody else loses life. And you just have to do that over and over and over again until everybody dies. It's really boring. <sighs> anyway. I'm having a bad time of it now. This bloody monk is... And the dice are pretty much against me. you got to say, I mean, I haven't had a lot of luck with the dice. Hello! Okay. Um, what's there again? I could have a look at see, visiting the Enchantress. I'm going to do that. I do have another reroll in my fate, and I can visit either here or here to replenish my health. I can't remember which one it is. Uh, my, not my health. My fate. Two. Yay, lose one strength. How about we re reroll that? Okay, gain one strength. That's much better. Nice. All right, I'm, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. Yeah, you leave. Oh, now he's going to have a go at the elf. Oh, going to have a go at the elf now. This is a very aggressive monk. Elf pwned him. And he's taking his... 
he took something off him, didn't he? Let me take off him. The elf now has a wand. He took the wand. So now I have a rune sword and a shield. Uh, you, the has has my ring, uh, the holy grail, and a cross. He also has a shield and sword, but he can't use them. The the, pr the the priest has plate mail, an axe, and a helmet, and the elf has an axe, a water bottle, and a wand. So he always has one spell. <laughs> plate mail. Move there, join a veg card, it's an amulet. Okay, no spells will ever affect you, but you can't cast spells either. He's gonna drop it? Oh, he's gonna turn it into uh, a gold piece. A gold piece, not a gold piece. Go away! Don't come over to me! Don't you even- Oh my god. Yeah, go on then. Oh, I actually stand a chance! I stand a chance! Oh god. Well, that could be worse. No! I don't have any more fate points left, you git! Know what you're gonna take? I'm gonna take, all, take everything. Take everything I've got. Why not? You know, just, yeah, I'd leave me with absolutely bloody nothing. I'm going. What's over here? A healer? I'm okay for spells, aren't you? That's a healer. For, for health, even. And over here, we've got... Ah, uh, well, yeah, that's really just not a great thing. Well, yeah, it could be worse, I suppose. But yeah, end turn. I'm sulking now. That was going really well. Um, I was doing all right, you know. I had a nice ring, and I, you know, still got me sword at least, me evil sword that hasn't hit anything so far. I might add, not a bloody thing. He's got an orb of knowledge and a siren. We all miss a turn. Yay! We all miss a turn, which means nothing. We're all just listening to the sirens wail, and then I miss a turn. And then it's the monk score again. Okay. At least he's not going to get me this time. Now this thing here... Oops, sorry. Let that, me that that just... Oi. Okay, fine. We'll get rid of this first. Take your bloody pixie. This thing is very nice indeed. The orb of knowledge. It lets you... Uh, well, you may draw an adventure card. You may discard... You may discard one card of your choice and get another one. So basically, when you move on to a square, if you don't like the first one you get, you can swap it for another, but you have to have the second one. Nope. Don't fancy the ogre. None of us are particularly strong. He's gone to the cave. He's lost. I need to re redo my fate points. I've got no fate points left. Every time I've used one, though, it's been like, no. Nope. A wolf. Ow! Ooh. Bad roll. Ah, it's all right, though. You got away with it. So if I go here and... Um, no, it's here. It's here, 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 here. You see, if you're... Evil, you may place your fate points um, for free, and I am evil, so I wouldn't mind going there. That's my next aim. So we're going to just head that way by moving here and drawing a bag of gold. Okay, well, I need that. I only got one left. We well, you know, well, I didn't have any. Been robbed blind. Oh, go on. Yeah, continue the game. Sorry, I didn't want to interrupt you. So the Uber Monk, <laughs> that I'm now gonna call him, is uh oh, nice one. Excellent. Alright, not so Uga U Uber. Uga 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 Uber. Okay, there you go, yeah. The monk warrior. Monks are kinda of warriors though, aren't they? You know, it's not kinda of works. And yeah, he's gonna trade those two trophies in for a strength point. And the priest. Or is it the elf? Oh the elf's using his axe to make a raft in the wood. And now he can move into the middle region. He's going to leave the water bottle behind as he moves into the desert. Okay. The elf is stupid. Hmm. So, do I want to go here? I could go to the cave and hope that I don't meet a dragon. Or I could go here. I'm going to go here. And I'm going to visit the, uh, the mystic. Because it doesn't matter if she changes my alignment. I can just change it back. 
I become good. I don't really want to become good, to be quite honest with you, because I'm going to have to drop my sword. Ah, yes, that's bloody brilliant, isn't it? Now I've lost my sword as well. Oh my god! So now I have no nothing. I have no items at all. I was doing fine, and now I've just... You know, I can, I can turn back, but I've got to leave the sword there until I... The fairy grants you something. What do you get there? Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Let's enable all of that. Um, gain one craft. Yeah, fine. This isn't going... To, I'm going to pull this back. I am so going to pull this back. So much more I can do in this game. I've not, I've not even started yet. Okay. Serpent. Oh, you evaded the serpent somehow. Don't really know how. <laughs> They'll have some bloody item or something. And yeah, the elf is going to use the raft to move to... The oasis. Okay, he's gonna move to the oasis. He's gonna, he's gonna visit. He's got a holy lance. The. Okay, visit the witch. Got a holy bloody lance. Which is good against dragons and adds one to your strength regardless. <gasps> My go! Yay! Ah, uh, I can. Um. Well, I'm. I'm. Uh, I could go here. Um. I can heal. I, I'm all right for health, but if I. If I pray, and I, I can get a nice, you know, possibly get something nice here if I... No, if I don't roll a one, but that's me rolling ones. That's what I do. I roll ones. Just end the turn. So we're in a bit of a lull here. Slight bit of a lull. Ever so slight little bit of a lull as we try ever so hard. Don't roll a one. Oh my god. There we go. Come on then. There he is. Yes, you just come to come and take my life, haven't you? Uh, well, I rolled a one, and I rolled a four. That's all right. That's quite good. So, do I? I win. Oh, I get to take your armor. I'm going to take your armor. Yeah, I'm going to take your armor. I am so going to take your armor. That's mine. Your armor is now mine. So, in a four, five, or six, I don't lose a life in combat. The elf is now in the middle region. He's rolling a six. He's going there. Though he won't be trying to get through that door. Yeah, so he's just going to draw a card. A shadow? He's fine. You beat the shadow. Congratulations, you beat the shadow. Well done. Okay. Roll dice. Two. Hmm. Yeah, let's go here. Draw an adventure card. It's a wild boar. I can beat a wild boar, for God's sakes. Here we go. Wild boar. I have beaten the wild boar. Hey, I've beaten the wild boar. <laughs> I will take that as a trophy. Thank you very much. So now my trophies include, I keep pressing the wrong bit there, a wild boar. Yeah. Awesome. Ah, marvelous. Hmm, visiting the healer. Gets, yeah, now he's on four health. The priest will now no doubt chase me. Okay, right, he's rolled four, that's fine. That's where I want to go. There. And then I want to get my sword back. And then I want to, you know, get the orb. Oh dear, he's met a dragon. <laughs> oh, a dragon. Oh, the dragon ate you. Om nom nom, tasty priest. Will the helmet save him? It bloody will. On a roll of a six, the helmet saves you. And that's exactly what happened. Kyoh. He's going to go and visit the oasis again, and he finds pestilence. All characters in that region lose a life. Jolly good. And now you don't get to meet... Oh, you do get to meet the witch. Replenish your fate point value. Oh, that's nice. Good for you! Oh, nice! Okay, so hang on. I am... Um, I'm evil. I am evil. Thank you. It's nice for me. I'm, I'm so evil. You wouldn't even believe. I'm going to replenish my fate. Thank you. So now I have four, four, paint, four fate points, which is nice. Now I need to roll another two, get my bloody rune sword back, and uh, start kicking ass. And we're going to say kicking ass again, because the rune sword's completely failed me so far. Yeah, go on and kill the goblin. The other monsters I should be sort of like, you know, finding, but I'm currently n just not finding them at all. But I'm not finding many monsters, and that can be good. Oh, he's using an axe. He is going to go to the middle region. So you can use an axe in the woods to make a raft to cross into the middle region. No one's got a talisman yet, strangely. Oh, you got to move into the... Ah, uh, yeah. You left your water bottle behind, you idiot. So, you know. Okay. 
He's got a guide, so he didn't have to roll a dice in certain areas. Five. Is that... Oh, no. Hmm. Do I want to move there? Well, it's kind of on the way, although... That way will get me another card, and cards are good, generally. Well, in terms of, like... Oh, there's a mercenary there? What? I didn't... I should have gone the other way if I'd have known the mercenary was there. But just because of that. Just because of that. Get rid of this goddamn mercenary. Alright, don't, don't, actually. That's just an emotive, silly thing to do. You know, I'm leaving the, the, the giant there and stuff because that, that's also bad things for other characters. He's going to visit the Enchantress. Roll a one. Roll another one. He's going to re-roll it. Roll another one. Roll a three. Lose one craft. Oh, dear. Poor little monkey. <laughs> Uber monkey. That's what I'm going to call you. Priest's going to move into the inner region via his raft. Gonna visit the warlock. Have you have you completed your quest? You haven't, have you? No. Because I fought you off. Gonna visit the woods. A blizzard. Everybody in the a blizzard in the deserts. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, I can only move one square. Why is that? What am I doing? Why 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 am I only moving one square? I'll become good again then. That's confused me. Maybe I rolled the dice and didn't really. I don't know. And I'll, I'll, I'll pray. Five or six? Oh, five. That's something. I gain a life. That's nice. Yeah, so that should turn into five now. Lovely. Why? I don't know why. I, I don't understand why I only moved one square. A ghost materializes in the temple, which is there, I think. Yeah, and so, you know, you've got to kill that. It's just a random monster. Pool of life. So when you move into that square, you gain a life. Oh no, the blizzard only lets you move for one... Ah, oh, that's right, you can only move one square a turn. Um, some stuff happened there. Okay, so I can I can go here and fight this, uh, this thing. It's got a strength of four, which is the same as me, because I get a plus one on top of that for my strength for my sword. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to see if I can beat this bloody serpent. I don't have the sword, do I? <sighs> Sword's over there in the goddamn village. I'm going to re-roll it. I got my fate points. I'm going to re-roll it. Uh, yes! Hooray! I don't have enough uh, trophies to turn that in for a point of strength, but... Okay, the uber monkey is <laughs> visiting the enchantress again. That went really fought well for you last time, by the way. Okay, he's got another point in craft then. Okay, visited the warlock, didn't do anything. He's gonna move, uh, he's gonna use a raft and move back. He's gonna get the orb, isn't he? He's met a demon! <laughs> craft 10, my friend. The demon has craft 10 and will remain there. But that's not so good, Mr. Elf, because now, because it'll remain there, that orb remains hidden under the demon. And I don't fancy my, oh, I've got craft 7. And the way the dice are going, I don't really fancy, uh... I'm gonna visit the woods again and get a spell. Psionic Blast! Oh, that's quite nice! Add my starting craft to my strength, which is what the monk has, you know, all the time. A goblin! Okay, so if I beat this goblin, which I should... Yes, I think I might. Yes, okay. Um, I might be able to turn these, my uh, trophies in for a point of strength. No, no, yes, I can. Okay. So, that equals seven. Trade for strength. Strength becomes four, which will actually make a lot of difference. Once you get to like five strength issues, you tend to start doing all right in combat. Generally against the general mob. Oh, the, her uh, the hermit will appear there oh that's great yeah well once you go there the hermit will give you a talisman so that's quite nice if you don't have a talisman but you've got enough um like strength or craft to get through that door because you can just grab the talisman one of the things you could get all the way around here or around here as well and these squares are not nice it's gonna fight the ghost i reckon it'll do okay yeah despite rolling badly he did just fine Doo -doo -doo. So the ghost, the spectre, and Lemur. Yeah, you get an extra point. Oh, look. Priest 
Craft 10. He's actually quite dangerous now. Another bag of gold! Another bag of bloody gold. And I'm going to roll a six, which I don't want. So I could visit uh, the instructor, or I could visit the giant. Um, the giant's actually kind of tempting, to be quite honest with you. I'm going to, yeah, or I could re-roll. I'm going to re-roll. Four. Alright, let's go there. And we get a Fountain of Wisdom. Four craft points are found here. If you move on there, you got a craft point. And that's just what I did. So yeah, that's pretty sweet. Okay, craft eight. Monk is going to go and visit the giant? What? Well, I, yeah, I guess. You got, you got one strength above him. So yeah, you, you, it was justified. Just. Just justified, Uber Monkey. And yeah, then you get to trade them two. That's eight, but you know. Take off the remainder. And suddenly he's got strength five. He's going to pick up the shield. Yeah, there you go. Elf to move. He's going to move to the yeah the woods, as you would if you're an elf. Oh, we met a wraith. Oh, it's a dead heat. <gasps> a one. No. A four. Are you going to re-roll? Are you going to re-roll? Nope. He's going to take that. So you got two lives, uh, three lives left. Two lives left now. Hmm. Uh, I'm going to move back here, maybe. Oh, I could use the Sonic Blast on the uh, giant. Damn it. I move there. I can always use the destruction spell to get rid of the demon. Because that orb's pretty nice. A hag. Oh, a mistaker is a follower. Remove all of the followers. I have no other followers until you visit the mystic. Uh, so the hag's not so brilliant. But I don't have any other followers. Let's so not... Did I lose a follower there? Does it even say? I sent the prince card. I had a prince with me. Yes, and now the prince is gone. I'd forgotten about him to be fair though, so... Yeah. The prince didn't want to hang out with the hag. So I gotta go visit here. So that's another reason to get onto this bloody square. And a magic stream. Plus one strength if you land on there. So we have plus one strength, plus one health, and plus one um, craft. Down here. People are moving to and from the middle region all the time. Apart from me, I'm not. He's gonna dump off the helmet there, or the axe. Ah, oh, no, he's gonna turn the axe into a gold piece. And the elf is going to zip over there. And he's going to pick up a guide. Right. Six. An ogre. Hmm. Alright. Let's go visit the ogre. Go on then, Mr. Ogre. So, Psionic Blast should work. Yep. And I get to add my starting craft, which is four, to my current strength. And that should really let me win this fight. Yeah, I've won. That's a strength five creature. Okay. That was successful. Oh, you didn't fancy fighting the... Uh, Oh, it gained three gold! Aye, three bloody gold. There you go. Didn't fancy fighting the demon. If I do land on that square, I'm going to get rid of the demon. But that demon is protecting the orb for me. So for now, I'm going to leave it. Oh, he's going to fight the demon. Oh yeah, because you both have craft ten. And you win because you can convert it into a goddamn spell. You get. And there's the orb of knowledge for you. You... <clears throat> it's going great. It's going great. And you get an extra two gold as well. Why not? It's alright, I'm going to roll a one or a two. Are you right? I rolled a two. Okay, I got an extra point of craft. That's good. I'm having that. Okay, so my craft is nine. I'm thinking about chancing it, you know, and trying to get into the middle region, but I can't, because I can't go through here, and I don't have an axe. <laughs> and I can't afford an axe either. So, um... 
If I get into the middle region and open that door, then I get a talisman as soon as I get through it from the hermit. And then I can just try and wing it and try and get through. Because eventually the priestess is going to go, right, I'm, I'm off, I'm going to go. The priest is going to teleport. Where is he going? Oh, the elf's stopping him. So, yeah, you're going nowhere. And the elf gets his spell back because he's got a wand. And the elf is now thinking and he's going to have a bit of a move. A bit of a mooch over to... Oh, no, it's still the priest. Didn't f oh, the maze. Okay, so if if your craft is, left than, craft is less than five, you lose life there. But none of us need to worry about that. Oh, the elf with your bloody axe. Go on then, build your raft. He's going to go to that fountain of life, isn't he? Okay. One! Whenever I want a one, what is this? Is this an instructor? Yeah, that's an instructor. I don't want that. I'm going to move back here then. A magic portal. That will remain here for the rest of the game. You may move through it. That will actually take you straight to the plane of peril, which is here, which is just pretty much at the end game. So if you've got a talisman and roll a six here, you win the game, pretty much. No, I don't want to go there! No, I don't want to go to the Plane of Beryl, because uh, oh, the temple will do, I suppose. Okay, actually, that's quite good. I'm glad I did that. And now I'm going to encounter that space. And I'm going to roll these dice. And I'm going to roll an 8, and that's a spell. I'm going to draw a spell, and that's invisibility, so I can evade a creature. All right, so now I'm in there. So do I chance it and see if I can get through here with my 9 craft? Hmm, I'm in the middle region suddenly. Suddenly, suddenly it's just all changed. But I didn't want to go there. Although maybe I should have. I'm not sure. No, because I don't have a... I would have to go all the way back. See the... Uh, yeah, he's kicking ass. See see him and then go all the way up again. So, no. I'm glad I didn't do that. Now I'm trying to get here. I'm just going to try and go for it, honestly. It's all or nothing. I got a, a craft of nine, which I'll have to do. It's not quite as much as I would want, honestly. But yeah, we'll just, we'll just see. Melee, uh, yeah, you're gonna come and join me. And get your life back. Congratulations. A four. Hmm. Yeah, let's go there. And encounter the space. We'll have to draw an adventure card and I get a gold. That won't do any harm. Could be a lot worse. So I'm gonna go through here next time. See if I can get through there. Got to roll a nine or under to get under to get through there. Grab a talisman. Oh, I've got to go for it. I'm gonna go for it, guys. I am gonna go for it. I'm gonna, you know, get. I've got five lives as well, and we'll see what awaits us here. <laughs> Bit foolhardy of me to be honest. I've never really gone up with my with my strength so low, but yeah, it'll be fine. <laughs> it'll be fine. There's basically a strength way and a craft way to go. So obviously I'm going to go the craft way. He's going to visit the shrine, teleport to any space in the same region. Hmm. He's going to go back to the wall. I can get a, get a uh, get a quest which is deliver two gold, which he's done. So he's he's now got a talisman, but he's his stats are pretty weak. So okay. So I rolled a four, but I can just see if I can get over here. I'm going to travel there. I'm going to use craft. I'm going to roll my dice. And I got an 8, so I can go through. Sweet. And I'm going to encounter the space, and the hermit gives me a talisman and disappears. So, in turn. So I'm in the inner region. <laughs> if I'd find that inner portal, I'd still be dotting around here trying to get that bloody rune sword back. <laughs> Which I, I, I do admit I kind of got hung up on, but it was the... Uh, oh, divination. You can look at the top five guards in the adventure deck. That's not going to affect us too much now, because we don't draw cards in this inner region. It's all preordained new stuff, you know. Um, which we'll get into when it's my turn, obviously. I don't think my strength is high enough, you know. Strength 4. I might just die. But we'll see. We'll see. Let's go visit in the shrine again. Gets another six. Not really benefiting too much of that, is it, really? So I'm going to go to the temple. Let's have a look. 
Uh, an eight, he gains spell. Good for you. He's going to destroy magic. Uh, we can't use any spells until the start of next turn. All right then. So, here I am. So, in the inner region, I can go here to the crypt, roll three dice, subtract your strength, and move here. So, basically, roll three dice. If you roll more than your strength, then you're going to go somewhere else. Although, the Plane of Peril is actually quite nice. No, that's, a, that's the Valley of Fire. Where the hell's the Plane of Peril? Anyway, I th oh, I don't, I don't know where the Plane of Peril is. Or you can go here anyway, which reminds where we're going. Roll your dice, roll through dice, subtract your craft, which is what we're going to do, and hopefully we'll find our way out. Yep, okay, so we can, we stay in the mines, pretty much. So, that's the first test done. Where's the Plane of Peril? Is it there? That's the Portal of Power. Where the hell's the Plane of Peril? <laughs> it's not death. That's death. Is it here? Where's the pits? I'm not looking forward to that, by the way. And there's the, there's the vampire's tower. Where the hell's the plane of peril? That's the kind of command. And they're deserts. What the hell's the plane of peril? I don't know where the plane of peril is. I thought it was, thought it was there. But that's the value of. Oh, you've got a talisman. Oh, why not? Yeah, you gotta just have a talisman for free. I suppose I did, but I earned mine. Anyway. Here we go, he's got a fountain of wisdom, so he's got craft 11 now. You really should start thinking about following me, because I am going to either win or lose. That's a pretty obvious thing to say. Uh, not, not really that, yeah, but you know what I mean. It's all or nothing! So now I'm going to go to the vampire's tower. Suffer blood loss, roll one dice and lose that many lives, essentially. Let's roll dice. And we roll, of course, really high. Let's re-roll that. I've only got the one fate point left, but okay, that's better. So I only lose the one life to the vampire. Hello, hag. Oh yeah, I can use. Oh yeah, let's let's actually. Oh, you can. Uh, yeah, each folly you discard prevents one loss of life. Yeah, you. Bye. <laughs> Have the hag. <laughs> I don't mind. <laughs> okay, so I lost no lives there, but I have no fate points left, and that may well be key for the next thing. Anyway. The monks visiting the Enchantress. Gain a spell. Gain your spell. Oh, he's going to cast me. What are you going to do? Nullify. Uh, that cast was discard all of your spells. Oh, well, I wasn't really planning on using any. So that's all right. Go on, then. Take them all away. I didn't think I had counter magic there. No, I had, I had uh, evade, which is for combat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Isn't that, isn't that good? Yeah. Visit the mystic. Gain a spell. <laughs> Everyone's getting lots of spells. Oh, counter spell. I don't know why I could see that. Else visiting the temple again. He rolled a six. Gain a strength. Mm, nice. Okay, here we go. The Pit Fiends. Roll one dice and fight that many Pit Fiends with a strength of four. One by one. This is it. Make or break. How many? Two. That's not too bad. That is not too bad, honestly. Alright, here we go. Three. Uh, not so good. One. Okay, we beat that one. <gasps> we've got one more to go. If we beat this one, we've pretty much won the game. Okay, continue. Continue. Yes. Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Go on. Next one. Come on, come on, come on. Five. <gasps> Are we going to do it? No. <laughs> All right. Use my armor. Yes, okay, that worked. All right, we will get through that guy eventually. I reckon, honestly, we've got this one in the bag. I went for it, and I did it. The AI actually is quite good in the fact that it will go for the Crown of Command. I don't understand why it isn't, really. It's just not getting the right rolls and stuff, I suppose. But, yeah, he, it doesn't. it's not completely like a pacifist. It will try and get there. And I have lost this game several times while playing it single player, so... I want to make that clear. He does seem like a bit of a dirt by just wandering around, but I'm sure the priest has been attempting to try and get there. He just... hasn't been. And I think he's missing a turn. Now, yep, he's lost. I think we're going to do it, guys. I think we're going to do it. Uh, you're going to heal at the castle. 
Okay, well, I'm going to travel here, and yeah, we have to beat this bloody thing. Okay, a six. That's better. And a one. Good. So. In turn. Well, we'll zoom up now because we've pretty much got it, guys. So I hope you enjoyed this, actually, you know, because it's been good. It's been good. There's a market. It's a market, not a market day. So, um, you know, it's just for him. Market day is for everyone. The elf is making a move to the oasis where he finds a bear at the oasis and a witch. He's going to use a holy lance. Uh, yeah, okay, fine. Well done. And the witch will grant him <laughs> replenish your fate points. That's nice. And he's going to turn his trophies in for his strength. So now he has six strength and five craft. And now I'm going to move here to the Valley of Fire. You must have a talisman to enter. If you don't have one, you must turn back. That's what I thought the Plane of Peril was. Where the hell is the Plane of Peril? So on my next turn, I will win. So, thank you guys. I hope you have enjoyed this little... Well, it's been quite a long game, actually. Longer than what I, you know, normally normally takes me. But, you know, me, me just, like, you know, skipping my first bloody turn doesn't help. Um, but, yeah, it's it's been good. And I've, I've won. So, yeah, if you fancy this game, it's on Steam. It's a nice little thing. But as I said at the start, multiplayer currently, as this video is uploaded, is very broken. And uh, I think it might work 1v1 better, but uh, any more than that, you will encounter a lot of lag and crashes, and it really just isn't very good at all. Um, but, you know, if you find it on, st on, uh, on sale like I did, it's worth it for a casual little game here and there, because it's a, you know, enchanting little uh, little game. From, from my childhood, and that's, that's pretty much right. I didn't even know it existed until I saw it, so, obviously. But I didn't know it was there. Um, so it was a nice surprise to see it on Steam for sale. I have won! I've got the Chronic Command! Woohoo! Winner! Yeah. And that was all to do with that random chance of finding that portal and rolling a six. That was it. So I'll get I'll level up now and stuff, you know? Get my achievements and all that. I won the game. Hooray for winning the game for me. Uh, I took revenge on another character. <laughs> That's good. And, yeah, there we go. So, uh, as you level up, you get more rune stones. But, uh, I'm particularly fussed about that, to be quite honest with you. But yeah, there we go. Talisman Digital Edition. If you want it, it's on Steam. Um, probably other places as well. And, yeah. Hope you enjoyed that, and I'll see you next Let's Play. Cheers very much for watching. Toodling.